Okay, so this is going to be every exam question that has been asked on the Edexcel papers between 2017 and 2021 on indices. Now, indices obviously do get tested elsewhere, so these are the questions that are just explicitly about indices. Okay, so let's begin. This is from a calculator paper. This one we want to simplify m cubed times m to the power of 4. Well, we just add the powers, so we get m to the power of 7. This time we want to cube this expression, so we need to do 5 cubed first of all, and 5 times 5 times 5 is 125, you can check that on the calculator. When I cube the other ones, I will get n cubed, and when you have uh, brackets here, p cubed, all cubed, you do those 3 times 3 for brackets, so you get p to the power of 9. This one, you, when you simplify them, we're doing a division, so the 32 divided by 4 is 8, q to the power of 9 divided by q cubed, you subtract the powers, so you get q to the power of 6, there's a secret power of 1 there, so r to the power of 4 and divided by r to the power of 1, you subtract the 4 and the 1, and you get 3. So we have got the answers m to the power of 7, and these ones that we have here that were correct as well. So let's continue with this. We now have this time one that looks slightly different. We've given this expression and there was a different part A. We're just going to find out part B where it wants us to find the value of N. So we know that the uh, powers on top normally add and then we're dividing by Y squared. So we're saying that Y to the power of 4 multiplied by Y to the power of N, they would be added together and then we're dividing that by Y squared, which would be taking away 2 to get the answer of minus 3. So what we're going to be doing, we're saying that 4 plus n take away 2 is equal to minus 3. So all I need to do is add the 2 to the other side. So 4 plus n is minus 1, minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1. And then I'm going to take away 4 and we get the answer that n is minus 5. So that was me just looking at the powers there. And we have got the answer of n being minus 5. Okay, this one is to do with um, simplifying, okay? Now, you might be tempted to try and expand these brackets that we've got here, but actually it's about recognizing that you can divide the top and bottom by x minus one. If I divide the top by x minus one, I get one. And if I divide the bottom by x minus one, I get x minus one, because x minus one squared, if I divide that by x minus one, you just get left with x minus one. So the answer is 1 over 5 brackets, x minus 1, as we have here. A really similar one here. This time we're going to be sort of thinking about subtracting the powers because these are the same as each other. So 3 take away 2 is 1. So it just simplifies to 4 brackets y plus 3 to the power of 1, which is 4 brackets y plus 3. Now we don't need to expand the brackets. We can just leave it in that form there. We're going to simplify this. When it's brackets, you multiply the powers, so it's p to the power of 10. Okay, we're going to start off dividing the numbers here by simplifying. 12 divided by 6 is 2. x to the power of 7 and x cubed, you subtract the powers, so you get x to the power of 4. And y cubed divided by y is y squared, because obviously there's that power of 1 next to the y. So it's 2x to the 4, y squared. These ones, you just need to know that anything to the power of 0 is just going to be 1. Again, they like these sort of bracket cancelings. So this x to the power of 4 is going to cancel with the squaring part there. So we get left with 8 bracket, sorry, eight over x minus 4. It doesn't need the brackets. You could write it like this. Or if you were saying that it was 8x minus 4 to the power of 1 and then x minus 4 squared, you could do 1 take away 2 and get x brackets, sorry, 8 brackets x minus 4 to the power of minus 1. So if you did want to do that one using like indices, all three of these answers that I've got written would be accepted. The one with the bracket, the one without the bracket, and this one. So I'm going to say that this is fine, this is fine, and this is fine. Okay, we're doing cubing, so we'll do 3 cubed. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. We then multiply the remaining powers, so we get n to the power of 12 and w to the power of 6. So we've got 1, 8 over x minus 4 and 27, and well, they're saying correct answer only. CAO means correct answer only, but I think they would accept this as well because I think it's equivalent, but maybe we shouldn't have that. So I'm actually gonna remove that one and just leave it with those two options that we've got. Okay, we've got a couple more. Remember you add the powers when they're multiplying, so this is gonna be end to the power of eight. You subtract the powers, so three take away two is one. So I'm just gonna write C and d to the power of 4 divided by d is just d cubed, 4 take away uh, 1 is 3. This time we're going to just do a little bit of uh, an inequality because I didn't really know where else I'd fit this in. I'm just going to multiply both sides by the 2, 
and then I'm going to divide by 5 so that I get x is greater than 14 over 5. They've kind of thrown that question in there as well. And those are the correct answers that we've got. OK, this one is definitely harder. It's question 12, so it's further along in the paper that we've got. They've told us that a x to the 6 to the power of 1 over n is equal to 7x cubed that we've got here. Now, 1 over n means that we can apply this 1 over n to this part and this part. So that means that a to the 1 over n, and then we get x to the power of 6 times 1 over n is 6 over n. And that is equal to 7x cubed. So looking at this, we can say that this part must be equivalent to this part. And similarly, we could say that this part that we have here must be equal to 7. So I'm going to begin by saying that x to the power of 6 over n must be x to the power of 3. Well, that means we can just look at the powers. 6 divided by n must be equal to 3. Ah, oh, that must mean that n is equal to 2. Now, if n is equal to 2, I can say that a to the power of 1 over 2 is equal to 7, because we've said that n is 2. And we know that um, a, a to the power of a half is the square root of a. So all I need to do is square both sides. So a is equal to 7 squared, which is 49. So a is 49 and n is equal to 2, which are the correct answers that we've got there. Now, that's everything on indices that is asked with algebra, but obviously this is going to come up in lots of other places. So there's just these questions so far that have asked it explicitly.